In the previous videos, we learned how to set up our computer or a smartphone for writing the HTML code. I hope you have completed the setup part on your laptop or on your smartphone. Because uh, in this video, we are going to now start writing the software code. In fact, in this video, we are going to be building our first web page. When you're going to be writing this uh, code for building your first web page, I would really recommend you that if you have an option of using a computer or a laptop, then please write your code on the computer or the laptop. Uh, if you don't have that as an option, if you don't have a computer, then you could use your smartphone for writing the code. But just like any other software developer or I mean, no, any other code writing, it's going to be much more easier to write the code on your computer. If you just don't have an option, then yes, very much you can use your smartphone for writing the code. Now, um, yeah, I, I think, you know, that's it. So, you know, let's just get started and, and watch this video very carefully and follow the instructions. Okay, be very carefully, watch it, follow the instructions and start writing your code. Uh, in this video, I'll be explaining the instructions for computer. However, uh, you may follow the same steps on your phone as well. So, first, we will create a file with the name index.html inside the coffee shop folder. This is the same folder we created in the previous video. Remember, we created a folder called coffee shop and we said that we are going to save all our files in this folder. So, uh, we are going to create a file with the name index.html in this folder. If you're running uh, your HTML code on your mobile phone, if you're writing your code on your mobile phone, then you've already created this index.html file uh, as explained in the previous video. But uh, if you're writing your HTML code on the laptop, then you will need to create this file now. So for this, open the Sublime Text Editor and right click on the Coffee Shop Project folder uh, at the left hand side and click on New File. This will create a new temporary file with the name untitled. Go to the file menu of Sublime Text and then click on Save and assign the name index.html. Remember to use the .html extension while saving. This is important. You need to use the .html extension while saving the file. Now, here I'll tell you one trick. Uh, if you're coding on your computer, then you can use the keyboard shortcut key combination. That is control and S. So you'll need to press control and S together uh, if you're going to be using Windows uh, to save uh, the file, it's to save the file which is currently open. If you're on a Mac OS, a Mac OS X, then you will have to use command and S together. So you press both these buttons, control and S if you're on Windows together and it will save the file. Similarly, if you're going to be, if you're using a, uh, on a Mac OS, which is like a MacBook or an iMac, uh, in that case, you can press con Command and S together to save the file which is currently open. Uh, I would highly, I mean, you know, recommend that you get into habit of using these shortcuts uh, because right now what you're doing, I mean, it's a very simple code that you're writing, but as you'll go and as you'll progress uh, during this training and even, uh, you know, once you join a company and if you, once you start uh, becoming a professional software developer, uh, you will be saving your file multiple times. So, you know, using these shortcuts will start saving a lot of time for you. Uh, if not, you can always go to the menu bar and, uh, you know, and then uh, press the save button there as well. You have that as an option, but if you start uh, using the shortcuts, it will start saving you a lot of time. And as we go building, uh, writing a code, I'll start teaching you a lot of these shortcuts. So press control and S if you're on Windows and command and S on Mac OS. So that will save you some time and it will save the file. Now to check the output of this HTML file, uh, open Google Chrome and then click on file, then go to open file, and then choose the file index.html from the coffee shop folder. Here, you can see a blank page uh, because we have not written any HTML code in index.html files. So you're just going to see a blank page and that's absolutely fine. You've not written any code as yet. So the next step is now we're going to start writing a code inside this HTML file. 
So we have to just refresh this page. Once we have written our code, we just have to refresh this page and it will show the updated output of the HTML code. So let's get started in writing our HTML code. So now we'll be writing our HTML code inside this index.html file that we have just created. So the first line we are going to write on our screen is less than exclamation mark doc type space HTML and then greater than. So these are like the less than and greater than they, they behave like the brackets uh, when you're writing HTML code and you're going to start this word, the syntax by exclamation mark. So you're going to write exclamation doc type space HTML. Don't worry, I'll, I'll explain you now what it means. So as you can see, the first line here that we've written uh, in the index.html is about doc type. So doc type describes the HTML version that will be used in our page. And according to that, the browser will render the output. If you do not use doc type in your HTML code, then each browser could show different output of your HTML code. And it will become very hard to ensure that the page work consistently on all browsers. So we're going to start by writing doc type HTML. So this tells is a basic instruction to the browser uh, saying that the web browser saying that what type of code, uh, what type of programming language is there inside it. The next line, the next tag that we're going to add is the HTML tag. So again, open, uh, so you're going to have the two brackets less than equal to greater than equal to bracket and inside that we're going to write HTML. And uh, HTML tag is the root of HTML document and it, it, con it is the container for all other HTML elements. This means that we will put all our HTML tags, text, etc. inside this block. Now keep in mind that each of this tag is also closed with a forward slash and a tag name. So you'll see below that, you know, we are opening the tag and we are also closing the tag. You'll see this pattern all throughout your HTML code. So keep that in mind. So doc type does not have any closing uh, tag, but the HTML tag is going to have a closing tag and a closing tag always starts with a forward slash and then HTML. The next part now here, the next uh, now, I mean, you know, the whole HTML page uh, that we've written, we're going to divide it into two parts. The first part is called as the head and the second part is called body. The contents added in the head part is mostly not visible to the user and it contains information such as the page title uh, and other external JavaScript, CSS file, keywords, etc. So all these other things will be there inside it. So for example, um, we uh, are going to type now, you know, as you can see here uh, that I have added the title learning HTML inside the title tag. So first we divided, we wrote head and head uh, you know, and we had like two tags, the first opening head tag and the closing head tag. And then we had opening body tag and the closing body tag. And inside the head tag, we have written title and uh, again, title, there's an opening tag and the closing tag. And inside that we are going to write the title of our web page, uh, which is learning HTML. You can give any title. Okay. You have full freedom for it. I've just thought of giving the title as learning HTML. So we've added the title learning HTML inside the title tag. As the name of the tag explains that this title tag defines the title of the browser page. It will appear at the very top of your browser toolbar or the tab where uh, you view the page in Google Chrome or any other browser. So this is the title of the page which is going to appear. In fact, there's another importance of this title tag. When you search for any file uh, or sorry, search for any term in Google, uh, what Google shows you in the search results are basically the title of the web page and then you can click on it and then go inside and view the rest of the page. So what Google shows in its search results is actually going to be the title of the web page. So that's where the title of the web page is very important. Uh, it shows up in your Google search results as well as it is also going to be shown um, on the browser. Now in the body section, we are going to write are the first, uh, you know, the first letter, the first text that we are going to write of our web page. And we're going to just write hello world. You know, if you have learned other programming languages in the past, you might always remember that, you know, we write our very first code with the hello world. So, you know, we just thought of writing the same thing again here. You can write anything of your choice. You can write your name. Uh, you can write the name of your college or the school or uh, the company where you're working. I mean, you can, you can write tech type in anything there, but just for, uh, you know, to make it easy, we can just type in as hello world. 
Now this hello world goes inside the body tag. So again, body tag is opens and close and in between the opened and closed body tag, we are going to write hello world. So the body section is the main part of HTML page. Well, whatever you add inside the body section will be the text that you will be visible on the browser. So that is the text that is going to be appearing on your website. As you can see, I've added a sentence hello world inside the body section. Now, next step is save this file. Uh, you can either save it via the menu uh, or using the shortcuts I explained to you earlier in the video. I hope you remember the shortcuts, right? I just explained it to you some time back that if you're using Windows, then press Control plus S together, both these buttons to save the file. Or if you're using Mac, then press Command and S together to save the file. So that's it. Once you've done, you've saved the file um, and make sure that you retain this file. Okay. I mean, don't delete this file later on, even after you get the output, because as we keep learning during the training, so keep in mind our, the name of the folder we have given as coffee shop. So the reason for this is we are going to just use the same file and keep updating the same file and you know, till we build our very first website, which is a web page for a coffee shop. So we're going to keep improving on the same file. So don't delete anything that you're learning. Retain, please retain all the files in this folder. We'll be just updating them and learning, uh, you know, on, on the same base that we're going to be building uh, together. So we're starting off with something very simple, but our main goal is to build like a full fledged website. So this is, this may appear to be a very simple site, but that's the base and you're going to keep building on it. So please don't delete any of the part that you are writing any code that you're writing. You can always, I mean, you know, otherwise you'll have to just start writing everything all over again. So just keep, don't, don't delete anything. We are going to keep building on top of it. So now uh, that we have saved the file, uh, I hope you've done that. You can either press control S on windows or command S on Mac, or you can use the menu bar and save the file. I hope you have saved the file. The next step that we're going to do is now we want to check the output uh, of the file that we have created in Google Chrome and refresh the page uh, where uh, you know you have opened the index.html file and it will show you the up updated output. So go to Google Chrome and just open this file and just refresh it. Okay, again, it may, it may show you a blank page because we had opened it earlier. Uh, if you just refresh the page uh, on your Google Chrome, it should show you the updated output. So as now you can see, the title we have written uh, in the header is showing uh, on the tab of the browser. Remember I told you, I'll show you where you'll be able to see the title. So it's in the tab here on the browser and the text written in the body tag, uh, hello world is showing on the page. So you can also see that, you know, the text uh, written in the body tag is also there in the uh, hello world. You can, you know, see here uh, on the page. So thank you so much. I hope you have learned something uh, new today. And uh, if you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer them. If you want to learn more about building your website and technologies that go into it like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, etc., then check out our Techno Shorts training. As part of the Techno Shorts program, we will send one video every day to you over WhatsApp. Each of these video is three to six minutes long and teaches you new hands-on practical concepts. Uh, about software programming and uh, things that you will, I mean, the things that will help you really when you apply for job as well as uh, this program also allows you to take a quiz at the end of three months and you can also earn a certificate. This certificate can be submitted in your college as per the university rule as well as it's very helpful when you apply for job opportunities. So check out Techno Shots right now. Click on the link in description given below and learn more.